Right, I'm going to work on our burnout at the start now where our wheels are spinning uh, really, really fast. I'll just clear my view and then we'll get a good perspective of what we're working on. So we could crank up our auto rotation whoops, on our script so that it is spinning fast, but I don't think that's going to be fast enough. So I'm going to manually rotate our um, wheels with these uh, controls. And then when we stop manually rotating it, then the script is going to be taking care of the rotation for us. So it's just a bit of a, a we just need to think about how that's actually going to work. So let's just keyframe it on the frames where it starts moving. So frame 11 is our keyframe. So I'm just going to work on one wheel and then copy it across to the others. And that is on the Y channel, but I'll just keyframe everything, right? So it's held dead still for the first 10 frames. And then we want it to start moving. We don't want it to slow in, or we do, but we want it to start faster than just this tiny little movement there. So I'm going to hand key that. Let's grab our Y channel. And let's just say uh, 40 degrees. I'm just going to guess a number. So over one frame when we start, that's how much it's going to um, kick over. And then because I know we want our animation or our wheels to stop skidding around frame 22, that's when we need to actually stop our manual rotation. But I need to keyframe that. So I need to go above 40. Let's just try. Um, I'm going to just going to guess with a number of say 500. All right. I'm just looking at the way the wheel's spinning. I, I reckon we can push it further. So 500, let's try 600. Whoops, not 60, 600. And the way that we want this to be reacting is I'm just going to hide everything except our Y channel on that um, handle there is we want it to actually this is the biggest that we want it to get, but we actually want it to really slow in. So let's just scale this handle really, really big so that it starts, it does speed up, but let's say it goes really, really fast and then it catches up. And that's what this curve means. I reckon actually, let's just go a little bit further. So I said I wanted it to stop spinning on 22. Let's drag it a few frames later. Let's drag it four frames later. G, four. So now it's just going to slowly get there. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's looking okay. I want to copy that across to the other side, just on my Y channel. So I'm just going to select this, select this whole curve, copy, then select our other side, and I can paste it on the right one. So Y rotation, let's just paste it here, control V. And that means our front and our back are going to do exactly the same. Um, do I want the front to be, I'm going to copy and paste it to the front as well, but then I just want to slightly off set it. So you're not even going to see this, but this is, this is what I'm going to choose to do. I'm going to paste it there as well. So I'm pasting on frame one, just control V and then do it on the other side as well. So hide everything except my Y, paste it on frame one. So now all our four wheels are doing exactly the same thing. Now I'm just going to offset the front wheel slightly, not in when they do it, just uh, the amount that they do it. So let me grab this keyframe here and position my 2D cursor there. Make sure that I grab both the front wheels. So I'm going to change them at the same time. And now let's pivot around our 2D cursor. I'm just going to scale them, right? So I just want this one to be perhaps a little less. So I'm going to go scale Y 0.95. So, so the front and the back, you can't even notice. I don't know why I did this, but it's just the way that I think to, to get rid of the perfections out of, out of things. There we go. That's, that's the skid at the start or the burnout. I should call it, call it a burnout. Now let's do the wheels at the end when they actually stop and start skidding. So when did I say that was? From frame 76, I'm going to keyframe our, uh, not our auto, yeah, auto rotation. So let's hit I, 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 I. Now I want them to stop spinning. So I want to drag this down to zero. Um, let's say over 
two frames, right? Uh, and then just drag them down to actually type in zero. So if we watch our wheels, they should be rotating, 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 automatically rotating. They almost break. I don't want this to be the mid mark. Uh, let's just say it's going to be 0.2. And now they're going to be stopped all the way to the end. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yep, cool. Let's do our steering. So I want it to be straight until the end. So, frame was that 76 to lose so let's keyframe this whoops up here you see I we've got our Z channel now we want it to be where does he stop I do want him to stop at um, so I want him to steer and then stop so we're just going to go I and we go somewhere in the middle and say here is going to be our maximum rotation so whoops which way that way so seven degrees let's make it ten degrees why just because I like that number have a look at that from the top but you know what I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold the ten degrees right so I might I might even make it more I'm gonna go Actually, I'm going to get him to drop back a little bit. So rather than um, keeping it at 10, let's go backwards a little bit. So yeah, there's a little bit of a turn there and, and back. Yeah, I like that. Let's, have a, let's get a different perspective. Zoom him in here on the front. Another thing I've noticed that I'm not getting the frame rate because uh, it's showing in red. Um, so at the moment, it's set to play every frame. If we change it to sync to audio, even though we haven't had got audio, I hit play. It's going to drop those frames and at least show me the correct speed. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that, that steering. So let's uh, save this and work on the next part.